What's up, Jousters? Happy Tuesday, June 9th. Let's kick things off today with the at-home joust standard warm-up. If you're at home, if you're in the parking lot, coaches will take care of you. Uh, after that warm-up, after you're warm, you're loose, you're ready, let's knock out this four-time workout today. Here's how we'll start. You're going to start with 50 swings, dumbbell, kettlebell, or odd object swings. You must do all 50 swings before you get into the middle meat and potatoes. After your 50 swings, you're going to do five rounds of 10 dumbbell split lunge rows, each arm, 10 left, 10 right, and 20 sit-ups. So 10 split lunge rows each arm, 20 sit-ups at one round. You'll do that for five total rounds. After your fifth round is done, finish with another 50 swings. When you're done with uh, another 50 swings, workout is done. Let's talk about the goals for this workout. Have some fun. Make sure you're moving well. Everything looks good, feels good. And uh, let's try to get this, this work done in between like 9 and 12 minutes. Uh, so you should be through uh, over halfway through that fifth round by like uh, 7 minutes, maybe 6 minutes uh, on the clock. And, uh, and then finish up strong in the back half. Uh, swings for your buy-in, your cash-out. Should only have to break those up one, maybe two times. So we're looking at like 30 and 20, maybe 20, 20, and 10. Uh, if you can't do that, the weight's probably a little heavy. If you can easily do that, it's probably a little on the lighter side. Uh, for the rows, the weight on the rows, should be able to just barely go unbroken each set of 10. You might have to break up the set of 10 one time in the maybe round four, round five, but uh, should be weight to do like 12, maybe 15 reps in a row while you're fresh. Uh, yeah, scaling options. Like I just mentioned, if you can't do more than like 10 swings in a row with the weight you have, it's probably a little too heavy, let's go lighter. Or if you can do 100 swings in a row, it's a little on the lighter side, go heavier. For the row, same thing, all right? If you can do 20 reps in a row, it's a little too light, you should try to go heavier if you can. Uh, if you can only do like three or four or five at a time, it's a little too heavy, you might want to lighten that load down a little bit. If you don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell. Don't have that, let's use an odd object, uh, a backpack, a textbook, a cinder block, water jug, I don't know, whatever you've got at home, be creative and uh, add a little weight to it. On the sit-ups, we can scale those down uh, by lengthening the levers. So start with butterfly sit-ups, then go to uh, bent-legged sit-ups, then we go to straight-legged sit-ups. All right, let's talk about the movements in this workout. I'll give you some demonstrations here. For the swings, we're gonna start with that bell, the dumbbell, the kettlebell, the odd object out in front of our body. From there, we're gonna keep our chest up, our back flat. We're going to hike toss the bell back above our knees and hip thrust. And that's really the basis of a swing. We're trying to use the posterior chain, hinging our hips back, thrusting our hips forward. The arms, they're just ropes, just noodles hanging onto the bell. Put it together, hike toss, hip thrust, and we're off to the races. We don't want this movement to get too squatty, so we don't want excessive bend in the knees. We want to hinge and thrust. Find a nice rhythm there. You saw how I was holding the dumbbell. Uh, with the dumbbell swing, we want to hold underneath the bell. I find that to be the most manageable. Just relax the arms. The hips do the work. For the split lunge rows, we're going to get into a split position. Um, before I get ahead of myself, for those swings, we could scale those back. We don't have an odd object. We could do good mornings, 50 good mornings. We could also do maybe some single leg RDLs, arms out at a T, and do maybe 25 single leg RDLs each leg in place of those swings. So a few options for you there uh, if you don't have a weight to do swings with. All right, let's talk about the split lunge rows. We're going to get to a split position. So like we're going to lunge out doing a lunge. One leg out in front, one leg behind. We're going to get our opposite arm, our non-working arm, and we're going to let it just rest right on the elbow. From there, we take our weight, and we row that bell up to the chest, and we take it all the way down. Row up, back down. Row up, back down. Keep that elbow in tight as you row up. Try to keep your back nice and flat. My back foot, my heel is off the ground. All right, from there, it's all in the lats. Really engage those mid-back muscles rowing up and back down. If you don't have an object to row with, your next best option is to do like a prone angel where you're on the ground, on your stomach, 
arms up, then we go to our shoulders, then we go overhead, reverse, back to the hips. And just do that for maybe 10 reps total each round. Definitely a great option for you to engage some back muscles. For the sit-ups, talking about butterfly sit-ups here, soles of the feet together, bring them in tight to your hips. We're gonna go all the way down, chest or shoulders to the ground, all the way up with good posture. So we sit back, breathe in, sit up, breathe out. Down, breathe out. To scale this, let's go feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Scale a little more, let's go legs straight. So a longer levered sit up. All right, have fun with this workout today. And uh, yeah, crush it on, uh, on a Tuesday. See you all later.